Hey guys, this is Amrit for SavvyStudiosForYou.com and uh, here is a great product Energy Stock FX Pack. This pack has both uh, VFX and, uh, and uh, motion graphics elements that you can uh, use it for your uh, projects and uh, this uh, tutorial is a motion graphics one and in this tutorial we have used some elements from uh, Energy Stock FX Pack so let us see what we can achieve uh, with these elements here is a preview here we have used the element which which is from our uh, energy stock effects pack and uh, we have used it, used it in a motion graphics uh, project we would be achieving this kind of effect and uh, hope this is a good uh, tutorial uh, for you guys where you can uh, Okay, where you get uh, where you can get an idea how uh, we can uh, use this uh, elements uh, from our pack uh, for your own uh, projects. So let's get started the this uh, epic uh, tutorial. So let us uh, close this. Okay, we have opened a new uh, project. So let us first uh, import the whole folder into the project. So double click, select the folder, main folder and tell open. So there are uh, two folders under this one uh, main folder. So here is uh, those bonus uh, content you can check it out. And uh, here are those uh, 35 uh, VFX elements or the motion graphic elements that can be used in your projects. So as I've previewed, uh, we'd uh, be using that element. So this is the one. Let us drag this out into a new comp. So it looks something like this. Okay, so uh, let us first uh, change the color. Effect, color correction, hue and saturation. So colorize, bump up the colorize uh, saturation to 100% and uh, let this be somewhere uh, here yeah somewhere here okay uh, yeah this looks some kind of uh, this looks something red reddish okay so let us uh, add a glow to that St uh, stylize glow and uh, this is all okay let us uh, pump up the glow radius and take change from original colors to AV colors yeah here is something that we can use it for our uh, project yes right okay so uh, once this is done so let us uh, duplicate this element or this layer so let us uh, hit rotation and uh, change the value to 180 degrees that would be uh, flipped vertically let us select the two layers and uh, change the mode to add and uh, now it looks something like this yeah it's uh, great and uh, it looks something is happening yeah okay so uh, let us again uh, select it and uh, hit F4 and uh, change uh, from 2d layers to 3d layer so once that is done so now you can go to this uh, rotation that is uh, orientation and uh, change the this one right yeah change its value to uh, somewhere uh, 30 yeah yeah this should do and again uh, for, for here also tell R and uh, here you can find the orientation change and hit minus 30 and uh, is what we are uh, looking for 
something like this and uh, now uh, some it's just a matter of uh, aligning it so let us uh, take the first element or first uh, layer and uh, move it so up here yeah then the second element somewhere down yes right yeah it should look something like this yes yeah it should look something like this let us go to the right view yeah go to the active camera okay so uh, this is close to our uh, uh, project yeah once this is done then go to layer new camera and let it be a 35 millimeter camera tell ok and once that is done so let us uh, hit P on the keyboard and uh, it will open the position uh, controls and uh, we'll go we'll find a frame where we can zoom it in here's a nice one and let us hit this camera tool and uh, let us zoom it inside by drag it inside yeah this looks okay so let us come to the start and uh, hit a keyframe key, the keyframe and uh, move somewhere uh, here and uh, let us zoom it out a little bit and let us take the camera tool and pan it in the sideways yes yeah and uh, let us find a frame in the end where we can uh, stop the animation the nicer camera animation so let us orientation let us orient in this side and uh, let us again zoom it out still more and uh, let us yeah and let us still more zoom it out yeah so now it looks something like this yes right so okay once it is once this is done so now what we can do is we'll find a place between we, we can uh, add a text so this is the right place so let us click this text tool and uh, type uh, let us type motion graphics and uh, even this uh, let us move it down and uh, even this we have to make it as a 3d layer and now if you go to the top view we have to align it somewhere here and let us move it in the front somewhere here so now let us go to active camera and let us see how this is doing yeah this is nice okay so now what we can do is we can uh, take our uh, second element that is this one and uh, place it here and this looks something like this basically the idea is to uh, reveal this uh, text after this passes away so uh, let us even make this layer as a 3d layer go to our top view and uh, let us move this layer somewhere let us bring it to the front of that of that text layer 
and right in front of that text layer so well, let us go to add camera now uh, again we have to change the mode hit F4 and tell add and uh, let us scale it down a little bit okay so let us move it in the y direction okay so now if we preview it out yeah it's the right direction and it's moving correctly but uh, the animation that is your second element is the whole video so we have to time stretch it out time stretch or time remapping so let us right click and tell time stretch and reduce the count somewhere to 20 and tell ok and let us move this here find a frame which is uh, passing from that uh, text so let us it should be somewhere here yeah this should look good yes right see how it looks yeah now it's okay okay so now add uh, a linear wipe to this uh, text layer as if it has been uh, revealed from this uh, second element go to effect transition it is uh, going out of from your screen it is a linear wipe okay so uh, now change the angle and uh, let us transition completion to 100% and uh, let us find a frame where we can uh, start the animation somewhere here and uh, just click the stopwatch and uh, create a keyframe until you and uh, let us find somewhere in the somewhere at 50 yeah click the next add the next keyframe and uh, we'll make it out to zero yeah so now it looks something like this but still not perfect so let us add a feather touch yeah it blends with that tile uh, second element so now let us preview so we have to align it second element so yeah so now let us preview it out yeah so this should look good yes right again we can uh, go to our top view and uh, align it perfectly the text layer yeah and move it still more front and even move the second element still more right in front of that and it'll go to active camera and uh, let us preview it out yes right so it looks good and so now what we can do is to these uh, end of this uh, element we can add some kind of uh, shining or a, a particle kind of effect we can add some kind of particle effect in these uh, end of these elements so for that what we can do is we have to go to layer new white solid create a white solid tell ok and um, stack it under that uh, camera layer and uh, go to effect simulation 
and add a CC star burst and this is not we want so we have to fix it out so for that we can change the mode to color dodge or classic color dodge so here it is nicely blending with that uh, element so yes right so here what we can do is we can reduce the size so that uh, the bigger elements will be become smaller and the smaller element uh, will uh, get hidden yes right so the yes now it looks good yes now this is looking good it has fit up to 100% we drew it out and in the end what we can do is uh, go to this layer and add a effect stylize glow for this text and uh, let us uh, bump it this up yes right so now so now it's uh, perfect so let us preview it out yes right so it looks good and, uh, and uh, what we can do is still more tweak it out go to our uh, camera position and uh, to the end frame we can uh, click this camera tool and move it a little bit like this so now let us preview it out yeah so this is what I wanted to show you guys with our uh, product uh, elements what we can do and uh, what we can achieve with those uh, elements see the idea is endless you can use it in your own way so yeah so this looks good and uh, here also it is holding on to that uh, second element nicely yeah so it gets revealed like this an epic tutorial right okay guys so hope you've uh, enjoyed it and uh, hope you have learned something from this and uh, thank you guys for watching this tutorial have a nice day this is amrit for savvy studios for you.com goodbye